Want to check in on shares of F5? Uh, F5 Networks is trading higher by almost 7% here. An interesting uh, reversal in the after hour session, Dr. Day. You can see that on the chart right there. Down $10 at one point or so and now up. Yeah, uh, in fact, down, uh, I believe, almost $14. Oh, wow. Well, closed right around $124. Uh, the, the reaction, there were a bunch of people that hit that sell button way too quick in the after hours, and that's where the big big girls and big boys play in the after hours. Somebody shouldn't have been there or should have had some adult supervision because they sold 25,000 shares hmm. down at 110.56. Now the stock's trading 133.60. That's a very expensive lesson uh, to sell out at the virtual bottom. Uh, the, just an hour ago. Yeah, all right, up 7% right now. Let's move on to our next trade here. Tupac Live. Joining us now is John Texer, digital domain media chairman and CEO. John, a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, tell us right now, can we expect this hologram, which is actually a 2D image, to go on tour? Well, there's certainly been a lot of talk of that. Um, that's entirely up to Dr. Dre. Uh, we were thrilled to be a part of the project. Uh, we've been engaged in some of the uh, earliest and most successful forms of human animation. Uh, but for us, this is a project. He's our client. Uh, it's entirely his call. And uh, we're sort of waiting to see as much as you are. We're just thrilled to have uh, delivered something that uh, obviously got a lot of attention, uh, deservedly so. Now, this seems like a logical extension. This, this uh, technology has been used in movies. In fact, the company was uh, founded in part by James Cameron, along with a couple of business partners. How much would this cost? I mean, it, does this virtually cost uh, nothing so that if you did put a hologram on tour, that, that would actually be a huge moneymaker? Well, you know, it really, it really depends on the quality you want. I mean, mm -hmm. delivering uh, an animated human for a feature film like The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, you know, that's upwards of $20 million, depending on how much that character is going to engage uh, with the, uh, in dialogue and with the camera. Um, so delivering uh, Tupac, it had everything to do with the performance. Um, and you can spend a little or you can spend a lot. Um, We've had some bizarre requests that have come out of this. Uh, we, we were asked uh, if a Ronald Reagan could introduce Mitt Romney at the Republican National Convention, and uh, you know that would obviously uh, probably be a lot more expensive. Um, going out on tour, though, uh, again, uh, w this was a one-time project for us. Uh, if uh, Dr. Dre comes back and asks for uh, more help, we're happy to give it to him. John, is, is Nancy cheaper than Ronnie? No, I'm, that wasn't my question. The, the question I really have is the artificial intelligence. Uh, if Tupac is on the stage, do you guys have the capability to have him respond to the crowd uh, through the hologram? Um, you know, I'd really rather talk generally about what's possible in human animation. I mean, you can have... Um, you can have a, and, and this really gets into the world of military simulation and surgical simulation. Hmm. Uh, we actually think human animation is more relevant in uh, training soldiers. For example, mm -hmm. there's a very large contract that the Pentagon has beaten around to teach our interrogators around the world what a, a lie or a deception looks like in different cultures. So you can have a human driving a performance, and it can be a, you know, an elderly grandmother driving the facial performance of. Uh, you know, fundamental uh, terrorists. Uh, and it's that facial performance and that acting performance that can be driven through the character. So it is possible to have that real time interaction, even in an interview format, in telecommunications, in uh, military simulation. Um, we do better quality flesh in movies than our doctors get to train for surgery. Uh, and certainly, we do better quality animation and uh, military simulation in matinee films than we give right. our soldiers to train for war. So, um, yeah, anything's possible. Um, you know, we didn't, it's not our business model to, uh, you know, bring uh, uh, people back to life and take them out on tour. Uh, we just really respond to what, the cons what, what our customer wants on right. a given project. Uh, John, explain to us um, what sort of mix of revenues you're seeing from these other applications as well as this new application, which is potentially. Uh, chain, you know, very game-changing in, in terms of the in entertainment industry. I mean, the ability to bring somebody back to life is pretty compelling, but in terms of the commercial applications, that seems like that could be a huge revenue driver for you. 
Well, we look at the, uh, this whole category, uh, also stuff that we've done that you might have seen if you happen to be a Mets fan, uh, enhancing the in-game experience within special venues, whether it's on a concert stage, uh, in a major league ballpark. And if you look at the history of our company, after 20 years and eight Academy Awards uh, in the feature film visual effects business, which is only a two and a half billion dollar total industry with a lot of participants, we're only at 100 million in revenues. But you can take some of these special venue applications, whether it's uh, uh, human characters in concert environments or uh, what we're doing in major league ballparks and see this as a really a business which is, is at least as um, significant as the core business we have currently. All right, John, we've got to leave it there. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Hope you come back on Fast sometime soon. John Textor, the CEO of Digital Domain Media. We should note that this stock is on the smaller end of the market caps in terms of the stocks we talk about. It's 246 million market cap, and that is after a 15% pop today. 15, I should say, 1.5. Well, I'm definitely a Mets fan, so I'm, I'm fired <laughs> up about that. I'm not particularly a two-pack fan, but I'm wondering, if we bring two-pack back to life, yes. are we going to have to worry about an, a re-escalation of the East Coast, West Coast rappers kind of gang warfare? It's just something I'm concerned about right now. So it's, maybe we should get Dr. Dre on the, on the. Or they could, you know, have a truce.